2016 May Hemis, and uh, we're back. We're back with yet another video, yet another category for you folks to vote on over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And here's the thing about professional wrestling. It's not all just in-ring action. I dropped my pen, and we are going to talk about the people. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. We're going to talk about the people behind the scenes and outside of the ring. Best non-wrestling personality. Uh, gentlemen, let's start with you. Yeah, because this is a super easy one. I think there's only one person you could pick. Uh, for this year, which is Renee Young, who just exploded onto the scene, mm -hmm. killed it. Um, not only is she attractive, but she's also talented, which is like the total package. Very hard to find. Um, when you watch what she does, she is so natural. Uh, the, way she, the way she does it, it's not like, you know, even when she first started with interviewing, Hello, WWE Universe. I am here with John Cena. I mean, she just looked like, she, and she looked like she's having fun. And when she looks like she's having fun, you're kind of having fun. And, uh, you know, and she's cute. So it just works out. And, and you see the trust that they put in uh, to her because now her roles just continue to expand. So um, I think, you know, we could pick some other people if we wanted to, but I think Renee <laughs> Young is... is Head and shoulders, non wrestling personality now, here. Now, while you were talking, both of these gentlemen were making very interesting faces. I'm <laughs> curious what Chris released. Chris LaRusso. No, just, thinks. I mean, if, if cuteness matters, oh boy, you know, we're, <laughs> we're in big trouble. Um, it's TV. It's TV. Non, non wrestling personality. If I'm going next, I, I got to take the, the most obvious one in Paul Heyman. And Paul Heyman has proven time and time and time and time again that he is uh, head and shoulders one of the greatest talkers of all time. Heyman has been uh, so crucial to Brock Lesnar's success and has been the mouthpiece and the voice of uh, one, of the, the, one of the biggest attractions of the past 10 years. And Heyman, in a lot of ways, uh, has made a number of the matches and feuds that Brock has been involved in. Uh, I can especially think that Heyman's... Uh, Heyman's voice uh, added so much to the feud with The Undertaker, added so much to the emotion behind that, to the drive behind that, and, and emphasized the importance of that feud and, and made you, uh, glued you to your seat where you had to listen to every word that was coming out of his mouth and that you thought, my God, this is the biggest match that I'm going to see this year. I have to watch this. And the, the man has delivered for... 15, 20 years, and he's only getting better. Joe Dombrowski, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, naturally, I'm always going to be partial and gravitate toward the announcers uh, as, as kind of the first instinct. Um, you know, the job that guys like Michael Cole and Josh Matthews and Kevin Kelly, uh, uh, and my personal favorite, Steve Carino, uh, which I'm a little bit biased. I, I've experienced uh, working with Steve firsthand, but... Uh, 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 the job, the prep work, uh, uh, you know, it's a very underrated uh, uh, position as far as the amount of hard work that goes into it. But uh, for this instance, I'll, I'll gravitate away from my announcer brethren, and uh, I got to go with Stephanie McMahon. And I'm not a huge fan of the evil authority figure trope. I think that's been played out to death. But Stephanie has proven that that when uh, when she is needed, when 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 her uh, uh, when her jersey is called upon to deliver in a major way, uh, she can do it. And I think you can look at the episode of Raw when uh, she was arrested, and and how well she uh, that was Vince. She filled that role. That like. No, it was there was an, there was another. There was. They do look like. Uh, did they? <laughs> You can yeah, side by side. Anyway. I mean, it's and, already up to have it. And the McMahon family <laughs> as a whole obviously helped a lot in getting Roman Reigns over that hump as far as the, the, uh, the next top guy, the next top uh, uh, fan favorite. And, uh, and, and you can also look at the Ronda Rousey segment, too, from Ooh. WrestleMania. As far as Stephanie being a great foil, and again, going back to, to my point earlier about people like Jay Lethal, somebody who knows how to genuinely get the crowd to dislike them. Stephanie is, is one of the very few true villains or villainesses, if you will, uh, in the business today. Fantastic. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Of 
course you disagree. This is the oh. internet. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com and cast your vote. Share your dissenting opinion and uh, stick around because there's going to be more videos right after this. Oh, my God.